Queen his army from the anus up. He likes plain answers. I'll tell Bali. Have you ever had any homosexual experiences, Mr. Blair? Mm, just the usual adolescent handheld job. Same as yourself, I suppose. Has this man been fluttered? What's that? Lie detector. No, Colonel. He hasn't. Your background is fairly liberal, isn't it, Mr. Blair? Background? Your father. No. My father hated liberals. He took the communist line, mainly. Your father died eight years ago? Yes. Which is about the time your visits to the Soviet Union became pretty regular. I hadn't made the connection. Have you formed any connection, however briefly, with any peaceniks, dissidents, or other unofficial groups of that nature? You meet all sorts. Jazz people, book people. That's an impossible question. I'm sorry. Well, let me turn that around and ask you whether you've made any connection whatsoever with any peace people in England. Oh, well, hundreds, I should think. You have to stay indoors to avoid them. Can you think of any musicians you fraternized with whom you would describe or who would describe themselves as anarchists? Ah, there was a trombone player. Wilfred Baker was his name. He's the only jazz musician I can recall who was completely devoid of anarchist tendencies. Do you disapprove of the English social structure, Mr. Blair? Absolutely. Give me America every time. Thank you, Mr. Blair. Not at all. But you seem to go to Russia rather more than you come to America. Yes, because I prefer Russia. It's as corrupt as America, but there's less bullshit. 